Hello guys, in this video, we will be looking at how latitude affects climate. Different areas in the world experience different climates. But what causes the differences in climates experienced by these different areas in the world? There are a number of factors affecting the climate of an area. But today, we will discuss the most important factor, which is the latitude. You may recall that latitude is a measurement of distance north or south of the equator. It measures how close or far the place is from the equator. From the equator, the zero latitude, the latitude increases as you travel north or south, reaching 90 degrees at the north or south pole. The major lines of latitudes are, first is the equator, which is the line of zero degree latitude. It divides the globe into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Then the Tropic of Cancer, which is 23.5 degrees north, and the Tropic of Capricorn, 23.5 degrees south. And the Arctic Circle, about 66.6 .6 degrees north. And the Antarctic Circle, 66.6 .6 degrees south. The Earth has three climatic distinct regions, which are distinguished by these major latitudes. First, the Tropic or Torrid Zone the temperate zone, and the polar zone. Now, let's locate these zones on the globe. The tropic or torrid zone is located along the equator between the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn. Tropic zone is the hottest part of the Earth. Places in this zone, like the Philippines, typically have a tropical climate, which means it is warm all year long. Next are the temperate zones which are located between the tropic and the arctic on the north and the antarctic on the south. Temperate zones are relatively colder than the tropic zones. Places on this zone experience four seasons, winter, summer, spring, and autumn. The regions that extend from the arctic of the north and the antarctic on the south are the polar zones. Polar zones are also called the frigid zones because it is the coldest part of the earth that these areas are freezing. Have you noticed how latitude affects the climate of the world? Yes, the hottest part of the earth is along the equator, which is at the zero degree latitude, and the coldest part is at the polar regions, which are at the highest latitude. As you move farther away from the equator, the temperature decreases. But why is temperature highest near the equator and lowest at the polar regions? Let's analyze this illustration. Parallel rays of sun are approaching the earth. If the earth were flat, different places would receive the same amount of direct sunlight. Since it is not the case, the round shape of the Earth makes the amount of energy received by different places on Earth to be not equal. At the equator, the sun rays hit the surface of the Earth vertically or at the right angle, making the sunlight focused or concentrated on a very small area. Thus, the equator receives the most of the sun rays, making the equator hot. While the places far from the equator are not hit vertically or at lesser angle by the sun rays, causing this rays to spread on the surface in a large area. This makes the sunlight reaches the surface to be less concentrated. Thus, places from the equator receive less direct sunlight.
Let's check what you have learned. Hot places on Earth will likely be found. Letter A at high latitude. B at polar regions. Letter C around the equator. Or letter D far from the equator. The correct answer is letter C around the equator. As you travel north from the equator towards the North Pole, the average temperature will likely letter A increase, letter B decrease, or letter C stay the same. The correct answer is a letter B, decrease. Why are the coldest places on Earth found at the poles? Letter A, great amount of gas particles trap heat from the surface. Letter B, great amount of heat is received by these areas. Letter C, less amount of heat energy is received by these areas. Or letter D, less amounts of particles trap heat from the surface. The correct answer is letter C, less amount of heat energy is received by these areas. That ends our lesson. I hope you learned something from our video. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, share your thoughts, and subscribe. Bye-bye.